hockey players beforehand or anything like that. That's smart. That is smart. So I did that. I made sure I did that. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, welcome. If you're watching this video and you have not subscribed, it's over here, there. Go ahead and join us. I share life lessons through personal stories and I also do hair content. And now we're gonna figure out how to do fantasy football and hopefully be better at it than we were the first year. So today I'm going to go through my fantasy football league draft picks that I got, plus how they're doing for me. My goal for this season is just to not be in last place. Last year I was in last place. So my goal is to just not be in last place in my work league. I'm in two leagues this year. I decided to do like a random league on top of my work league just so I can get some experience figuring out how to do this thing because I really don't know what I'm doing. So comment down below if you have some tips on who I should start after you hear what players I got. Let me know. I need some help. For people who don't know about fantasy football, fantasy football, you create a team of players from all the teams in the league. You get a quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, a kicker, a defense for an entire team, and you get a flex position, which could be a wide receiver or a running back. I love football as a sport. I do, I love watching it in total. I'm a Broncos fan, that's where my team loyalties lie. However, <laughs> I really like playing fantasy because I like the game of football in general. I like watching the games. They're really fun. I'm actually going to go watch a game after I finish filming this video. We play on the ESPN Fantasy League. That's the app that I use to play fantasy football. Tuesday at around seven o'clock. That one I was actually in. I was in it. I was, I was there. I was the sixth position and how our draft worked, it was a snake draft. I was number six of 12. I don't think there's a worse position to be in in the snake draft than number six. The whole point of the snake draft, you, if you're like the last pick in one round, then you're the first pick in the second round. But if you're in the middle, you're always in the middle. So I'm not blaming our league manager. I just personally feel some type of way about it. An hour before the draft starts, you can like load in all your players that you want. So that like when it comes to your turn, you can move it quickly so that you can keep the draft moving. Now, as those people get drafted by other teams, your list obviously gets smaller and smaller. So just imagine me watching all of these players that are on this list, almost all of them, just go away. I have, I drafted Dak Prescott as my starting quarterback. So I did get him, wanted him of the Dallas Cowboys. He is my starting quarterback. My backup quarterback is Joe Burrow from the Bengals. Really need him for when Dak is on his bye week. So I can switch him out. That's, that's another strategy that I didn't use this year. This year I was looking at bye weeks because last year, I think like week six, I had like five players all on a bye together. One one week. My tight ends, I got Zach Ertz, who I wanted as one of my tight ends. He plays for the Eagles. My backup is Hawkerson. He plays for the Lions. My defensive team is the Rams. Running backs, I have Leonard Fournette of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, people kept saying I'm keeping an eye out for him and to draft him first. He didn't do that great. And then I also have Naheem. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Naheem Hines of the Indianapolis Colts. DeAndre Swift of the Lions and Darrington Evans of the Titans. For my wide receivers, my flex position as a wide receiver. So then my bench is also, I have three wide receivers just in case something happens because people get hurt. I have Michael Thomas, DK Metcalf, Marvin Jones, Sterling Shepard, Steven Sims, and Jalen Rieger. And then my kicker is Harrison Butker of the Kansas City Chiefs. He got me 10 points week one, so. I'm happy with him. So that is my paying attention, really trying to get players draft. Now I am in a second league, completely random. I don't know any of these people in this league. That draft was the next day and I forgot. By the time I got there, it was round four, I believe. They had already drafted some people for me. And then I got the running backs and wide receivers that I wanted and that I left and then they drafted some other people for me. So this is half care, half, 
random. Start off, I have three quarterbacks, so I'm probably gonna trade one of them out. I have Kyler Murray, who I chose, then I got Jared Goff of the Rams, and I got Ben Roethlisberger of the Steelers. For running backs in this league, I got Nick Chubb of the Browns, Latavius Murray of the Saints, David Montgomery of the Bears. Wide receivers, I have DK Metcalf again, and then I have Mike Evans of the Buccaneers, Allen Robinson of the Bears, and Emmanuel Sanders of the Saints. Emmanuel Sanders used to be a Bronco. And then I traded him, and then he was a 49er, and then he went to the Super Bowl, but they didn't win. And then for tight ends, I have Darren Waller of the Raiders and Noah Fant of the Broncos. And then I chose the Broncos defense for this league, and my kicker for this league is also Harrison Butker of the Kansas City Chiefs. So, let's get into how they're doing for me. So far, um, right now I'm losing in both of my leagues. Let's start with my work league first. Starting this week, I had Dak Prescott, Leonard Fournette, Naheem Hines, Michael Thomas, DK Metcalf, Zach Ert, Sterling Shepard, the Rams defense, and then Harrison Butker. Total, I have 95.84 points. And the person I'm going up against has 125.8. I thought I had more people playing tonight, but I don't. I only have one person playing tonight. So I'm probably not gonna win this because I'm 30 points down. Let me know if you have suggestions based on my players who I should swap out. And for the second league, who I started this week, Kyler Murray was my starting QB. I have three options, which I didn't know, but Kyler Murray was my starting QB. He got me 26.3 points. Nick Chubb, like I said in the last league, I have him in this one. Um, he only got 5.6 points. Davis Murray of New Orleans only got 4.8 points against 17.6. Um, another Tampa Bay player that I have, Mike Evans, only got 7.2 points. A. Robinson, the second, got 12.3. D. Waller got 10.5 points. DK Metcalf again, got 19.5 points. I have the Denver defense, so we'll see how well they do tonight. It's like, see what I mean? Like, I don't want them to do well because the person I'm playing against in one league has them, but then I do want them to do well because I have them in a different league. Catch 22. And then I have the same kicker, he got me 10 points. So my total in this league is 96.2. The person I'm going up against has 125.92. So week one, not great. We're trying to not be in 12th place, the goal. That is how I stacked up this week. Comment down below if you can help me out. If you got an idea who I should start, if you got tips on how to succeed in fantasy football. If you never play fantasy football, let me know. I'm gonna be coming back every week just so you guys can see how I'm doing, so I can recap on how I'm doing. And hopefully we won't be in last place by the end of this season. Also, this video is hopefully gonna go up on Tuesday. I'm still going to be doing my regular video uploads on Wednesdays. They're supposed to be at 11 a.m. God willing, they're at 11 a.m. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with people who are playing fantasy football and if they can help me, send them my way they can leave a comment and help me please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we will see you in the next one bye beautiful people you're probably not gonna let me film this video you're probably not right